Okay, everybody. So as you know, and as I was telling you, we have begun with this uh, short exercise about making phrases. This time we were making phrases about likes and dislikes and you did it great. And um, just to make a short review, today we will be covering a lesson C of unit number 10, which is about values. We were talking about this before. And um, in this lesson specifically, specifically, you are going to learn some phrases you can use in order to return goods and make some complaints if you have to do it in a shop. We also would learn some sounds or words that can help us sound a little bit more polite, okay? And we will be making a speaking practice, which is a conversation. So let's begin. Think about this question, guys. Have you ever returned something to a shop? ¿Alguna vez han, han devuelto algo a una tienda? Have you ever returned something of a shop? Yes, teacher. What have you returned? Tell me. Mm, I returned a, uh, the shirt, uh, maybe a ball, a, uh, anything. <laughs> but specifically, uh, specifically, you said a uh, um, a shirt, right? Probably, maybe it didn't fit you well. Cuando nosotros no nos queda muy bien, no tenemos la opción de devolver to return the good to a shop, right? De devolver el bien o lo que sea que hayamos comprado el producto a la tienda. When else have you returned something to a shop? ¿Qué otro, ¿Qué otro objeto, qué otro producto han devuelto a la tienda? With food, have you returned food to a shop? ¿Han devuelto comida a una tienda? There are some uh, things um, that you can return to a shop when we're talking about food, especially when um, they are liquids. Sí, cuando son líquidos, generalmente sí, se los devuelve a la tienda, ¿no? What have you returned? Or maybe have your mom told you, go to the store and give it back because it's out of the date. Las mamás saben decir a los hijos. Vaya a la tienda y devuelva esto porque está caducado, ¿no es cierto? Have you returned something like that? Maybe. Yes, teacher. What have you returned? ¿Qué les han mandado a devolver? A bag of milk. A bag of milk, exactly. So we have milk, we have a t-shirt, que nos dijo también Daniel. Teacher, I remember that I had to return a uh, yogurt because it was out of expiration date. Yes, the date was out of the date, right? Cuando está ya malo, malo, sabe mal. We need to uh, return to the shop. Good. Also a yogurt, um, milk, t-shirt, balls. Anything you consider is not right, you can return it to the shop. Thank you, guys. So what reasons can you think of returning these things to a shop? ¿Por qué razones creen ustedes que se puedan devolver este tipo de objetos a una tienda? For example, a pair of shoes. When would you return a pair of shoes? 
¿Cuándo ustedes devolverían un par de, de jeans a una tienda? Maybe if the jeans are in on the size that exactly. the person is going. Maybe the jeans are not the right size, right? Good. If they aren't the right size, good. Uh, what about the sandwich? When would you return it? Or why would you return it? ¿Por qué razón devolverían ustedes un sándwich? Nobody would return a sandwich. Uh, teacher, uh, it carry things we don't want. Okay, if it has or if it carries, if it has, let me write it. Uh, ingredients we don't want, okay. Good, that could be a good reason. What about that DVD? When would you return a DVD? Hey, hi, teacher. Uh, because it's not the movie I wanted. Okay, good. If it's the wrong movie, it's not the movie you wanted. What about a present? Would you return a present that you got? ¿Devolverían un regalo que les dieron? Y si lo hacen, ¿por qué lo devolverían? Why would you return it? For example, a t-shirt, como nos dijo Daniel. ¿Por qué devolverían un regalo? Why would you return the present of your secret Santa? ¿Por qué devolverían el regalo de su amigo secreto? It's going to depend, right? Va a depender de lo que les hayan regalado. You know, if it's clothes, maybe it's going to be the same answer as the first one you make because it didn't fit, or maybe just because you didn't like it, right? Sí, otra de las uh, respuestas podría ser porque no les gustó el regalo, right? Sometimes if you don't like it, maybe you can go to the shop and try to return the goods and change it for something that you like. So keep in mind this because we're going to be working on this today. Ma, este va a ser el tema principal sobre el que va a tratar nuestra clase. How to return something to a shop. Y cómo devolver algo a una tienda. So, um, look at this uh, notice in a shop. And match the highlight words with the definitions. You know, here we have some words that are highlighted and we're going to uh, match them with the definitions. But first, I need you to read them. Sí, primero les voy a pedir que me ayuden leyendo. So, can you help me reading this, um, please, Mateo? Can you help me reading this notice? Yes, chef. Uh, for customers who wish to return goods to the shop, we will give a refund or exchange your goods for products of equal value if you bought 
the good less than 14 days ago. Two, you have a receipt. Thank you for shopping with us. Mm -hmm, exactly. So the two uh, things we need to have in order to uh, have a refund is to both the things less than 14 days ago and have the receipt. So um, help me guys with or matching these uh, words with the meanings we have right here. For example, which of these five words we have in, in yellow means a piece of paper that shows how much have you paid for something? ¿Cuál de esas cinco palabras significa esto? A piece of paper, sí, un pedazo de papel, que nos indica that show us how much you pay for something. Que nos indica cuánto hemos pagado por algo. A receipt. A receipt, exactly. We're talking about a receipt, una factura, ¿no? A receipt, good. What about number two? We have um, to change a product, you vote for a different one. Exchange. Exchange. Perfect. Sí, cambiar. Exchange. Exchange is to change a product, you vote for a different one. Hacer un cambio, ¿verdad? Now, this one. Money given to you when you return something to a shop. Goods? Mm -mm. Refund. Refund. Refund, exactly. A refund, un reembolso sería. A refund. Let me write it over here also, so you can know what's the meaning in Spanish. Un reembolso, cuando ustedes quieren que les devuelvan su dinero por algo que compraron, ¿no? So a refund is money given to you when you return something to a shop. Cuando devolvemos a la tienda y pedimos un reembolso, vamos a recibir el dinero que cancelamos por ese bien o ese producto, ¿ok? So, something which is sold in a shop. What would it be? Lo que nos venden en las tiendas. Goods, products. Goods and products, exactly. Bienes y productos, ¿verdad? Goods and products. Good. So goods and products is something we can uh, find in a shop or is sold in a shop. Very good, guys. So keep in mind the meaning of these words. Hay que mantener o tener en cuenta el significado de estas palabritas, ¿no? Refund, que sería el reembolso. Exchange, un cambio. Goods and products, que serían bienes y productos. Y el receipt, que sería un recibo. Ok, hey, let's continue then. Here we have a situation, guys. You have two people talking, right? Do the shops in our city have similar return policies? Can you name some stores? What do you think? ¿Conocen tiendas en su ciudad que tengan ese tipo de políticas para devolver los productos? ¿Cuáles son esas políticas? Are they similar to these ones? ¿Son parecidas a estas políticas o son diferentes? Or are they different? What do you think? Okay. 
What do you think, guys? Do you know any, any shop in the city that maybe has some return policies? As you are shy today, please help me with the answer, please, this time. Mm -mm. Help me with the answer, please. Sebastian, do the shops in your city have similar return policies? Um, yes, teacher. The exchange and refund okay you can exchange and refund uh so what are the policies do you have to take the receipt as well También tienes que llevar la factura. so you can yes teacher. exactly so most of the uh, shops here in ecuador they ask you for the receipt right casi todas las tiendas te piden el recibo, ¿no? O la factura o el comprobante de compra. So you can exchange or make it, maybe refund something. Have a refund for something you have bought. So we're going to see a situation of a people returning something to a store. This time it's going to be Leo, the one who's going to return something to a shop. And you're going to answer me this. What does Leo want to return? Why and why isn't it possible, okay? So keep in mind these, these, um, keep in mind these questions. What does Leo want to return? Que es lo que quiere devolver Leo? Why was it? Why, why he wants to return that, ¿sí? ¿Por qué quiere devolver eso? And um, why is it, it not possible to make the return, ¿no? ¿Por qué no puede devolver también lo que sea que quiera devolver, okay? So we're going to watch a short video about this and then you're going to help me with the answers, okay? Vamos a ver un videito cortito de esto y luego ustedes mismos me van a ayudar con las respuestas. Let me share the screen with a book. And also let me share the sound of my computer so you can listen clearly. Get ready, guys. Can you see the screen? Um, no. Not yet. Can you see the screen, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, pay attention then. Pongan mucha atención al video. Could you help me, please? Yes, of course. How can I help? Uh, I'd like to return this clock, please. Would you like to exchange it for something? No, I'd like a refund, please. Do you have a receipt? No, I don't. It was a present, you see. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but we can't give you a refund without a receipt. But it came from the shop. Look, you've got the same clock there. Yes, but without a receipt, I can't give you a refund. I'm very sorry. Is there anything wrong with it? No, it was a present, but I don't really like it. Well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do then. Right. Could I speak to the manager, please? Of course. Okay, guys, so what object did Leo want to wanted to return. ¿Qué objeto quería devolver Leo? What was it? 
o'clock. A clock, exactly. Why did he want to return the clock? Because he doesn't like it. Exactly, because he doesn't like the clock. And why he can't return this uh, clock? Why isn't possible to return it? Because he doesn't have a receipt. Exactly, he doesn't have the receipt. So he can't, or in the shop, they can't do anything for him. Good. So you were um, paying attention, that's great. And now I'm going to ask you something else. We're going to listen again all the conversation and you're going to tell me which phrases of the ones we have right here did you listen, okay? So uh, you're going to tell me which phrases you listen and what, which one of them are for returning something to a shop and some others for complaining. What is the meaning of complaining? Do you have any idea what does it mean? ¿Qué significará complaining? Quejarse o hacer un reclamo, ok? Hacer un reclamo. This would be complaining. So, which phrases did you listen that maybe can help us to make a complaint, okay? So, pay attention, guys, because you're going to listen again all the conversation, all the video, and you're going to tell me which phrases did you listen about returning something to a shop and also about complaining. So, pay attention and let me play the record for you. There we go. Track 3.29, part one. Hi, could you help me please? Yes, of course. How can I help? Uh, I'd like to return this clock, please. Would you like to exchange it for something? No, I'd like a refund, please. Do you have a receipt? No, I don't. It was a present, you see. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but we can't give you a refund without a receipt. But it came from the shop. Look, you've got the same clock there. Yes, but without a receipt, I can't give you a refund. I'm very sorry. Is there anything wrong with it? No, it was a present, but I don't really like it. Well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do then. Right. Could I speak to the manager, please? Of course. Hello. What seems to be the problem? Yes, I'd like to make a complaint. Okay, guys. So, um, help me with the answers. Which ones of the phrases would you choose? ¿Cuál de las frases elegirían entonces? ¿Cuáles escucharon? Which phrases did you listen? Maybe Edith. Um, uh, this one I like to return this clock piece. Okay, something else. What else did you listen, guys? First. The first one. Could you help me, please? Excellent. What else did he did he use? Maybe something about complain. Algo más dijo ya cuando quería empezar a quejarse. 
what he he asked. Could I speak to the manager, please? Exactly. Could I speak to the manager, please? What else happened? I'd like to make a complaint. Perfect. I would like to make a complaint. Exactly. So um, these were the two phrases he used, but some of the phrases that we have here are the ones that we can use in a conversation when we want to return goods or when we want to make a complaint. Si cuando ustedes quieren hacer un, quieren quejarse o quieren devolver algo a la, a la tienda, pueden ocupar estas frases que tenemos aquí, ¿no? Can I exchange it for something else, for example? Si ¿Sí? podría cambiarlo por algo más. Um, maybe this one, can I exchange it for something else? Or maybe uh, you give your reason why you want to return something. Cuando ustedes están dando la razón por la que quieren devolver algo. ¿sí? Um, or maybe you are asking for a refund and so on. So all these phrases are valid. But in this video, you listen just these two, right? Todas estas frases son válidas. Podemos ocuparlas para devolver algo a una tienda. Pero, uh, bueno, en el video escuchamos solo las dos primeras, ¿no? In the case that you want to do your, or when you are doing your conversation, remember you can use any of them. Sí, cuando ustedes ya estén haciendo su conversación, recuerden que pueden ocupar cualquiera de ellas. Ok. So, um, when you make a complaint also, you look at this, you can also complain about the people you, who is helping you in the shop. Y también pueden quejarse a veces de, de quien les está atendiendo, ¿no? En la tienda. Your sale, sales assistant has to be very helpful. Sí, su, el asistente de venda, ventas, el vendedor no ha sido muy muy útil, ¿no? No les ha dado buena información, no les ha ayudado. Look at this. This isn't what I order. This is another famous complaint. Si es otra queja muy popular cuando ustedes se quejan por hacen un pedido a alguien y les llega otra cosa, ¿no? It isn't what I order. No es lo que yo ordené. O también podemos quejarnos cuando no funciona el objeto que nosotros compramos, ¿no? It doesn't work. Maybe you bought a camera or you bought something and it, it, it doesn't work. So we can use this phrase as well. Okay, guys, so oops, help me completing these, these short exercises. We have some words. In this case, we have six words over here on the chart. The words refund, receipt, replace, sorry, right away, and exchange. Can you help me completing these phrases, these six phrases using the words, please? Ayúdenme a completar estas frases con las palabritas. Come on. How would it be number one? Exchange. Okay, would you like to exchange it for something? Good, thank you. Help me with number two, how would it be? Do you have a? Recipe. Recipe, good. Do you have a receipt? I am terribly, what would you say? Sorry. I am terribly sorry, exactly. Let's move to number four. So we have, I'm terribly sorry. 
Number four, I'll ask someone to look at that for you. What would you choose? Refund, replace, or right away? Catherine Montaño, help me please with number four. I'll ask uh, someone to look at that for you. Catherine Montaño. Right away. Okay, right away. En este momento o enseguida, okay? That would be the meaning of right away. Voy a pedirle a alguien que le ayude buscando este producto enseguida, no? En este momento. What about number five? I'll eat immediately. Refund. Um, replace. Replace would be the one here. Good. Replace. Voy a pedir que lo reemplacen inmediatamente. And the last one, I'll give you a fall. Refund, exactly. You help me with all of the words. Uh, it's very common to use a full refund. See, ¿sí? un reembolso completo sería es. Le voy a dar, I will give you a full refund. Sí, les voy a dar un reembolso completo de su compra. Okay. Now, using all these words we have seen so far, would you help me completing these um, conversations? ¿Podrían ayudarme a completar estas conversaciones? Ya hemos visto algunas palabras. Can you help me completing the conversation? I'd like to make... Acuérdense que vimos una frase. Para hacer, para quejarse. I would like to make. A complaint. Exactly. I would like to make a complaint. Perfect. So let's complete it over here. Good. What's the problem? The phone doesn't. It's completely dead. Work. Doesn't work, exactly. El teléfono no funciona, ¿no es cierto? Está completamente muerto, dice. I am. ¿Qué ocuparían antes del sorry? Terrible. Terribly. Good. Terribly sorry. I will ask someone to Acabamos de ver esa frase. Look at. Look at. Good. I will ask someone to look at that right away. Sí, voy a pedir que me den revisando esto. Enseguida, right? Let's move with the second conversation. I'd like to exchange these jeans, please. They don't. Remember. Cuando a uno no le quedaba algo, acuérdense que, como decíamos. No me quedan. How would it be? Feet. Feet. That's the word. When you are uh, talking about 
clothes, cuando hablamos de, de ropa específicamente, si quieren decir que no les queda algo, would be they don't fit in this case. They are too small. Okay, do you have a... ¿Cómo decíamos factura? Receipt. Receipt. Good. Do you have a receipt? Yes, here you are, right? Vamos con la última conversación. Excuse me. Yes, sir. We have been for an hour. ¿Qué creen que será aquí? Hemos estado una hora. Here. We have been here for an hour. Could be. But we haven't ordered yet. Si sí, hemos estado aquí por una hora. Y no hemos uh, ordenado todavía. So, um, I am terribly sorry, sir, but we are extremely busy. We will be with you as soon as we can. Right, could I speak to the... Podría hablar con... Manager. To the manager. Good. Could I speak to the manager, please? Podría hablar con el gerente, por favor. Good. So here we have three different uh, conversations using the phrases we have seen so far. What I'm going to ask from you guys is to help me reading the conversations, the people that I'm going to ask for, okay? So this time I'm going to ask to, let me see, Anthony, it's going to be letter A in this, Conversation. Sí, Anthony va a ser la letra A en esta conversación. And um, letter B, it's going to be. Sí, y la letra B me va a ayudar esta vez siendo um, Alison Andrade. Okay, so I have letter A and letter B. Anthony and Alison, are you ready? Just to check. Okay, Alison, are you there? Alison a la una. Alison a las dos. Remember, you need to read. Acuérdate que tienes que leer, Alison. Ready? Ya se en el chat y dice que no enciende el micrófono. Sí, ya les voy a ir bajando porque les enciende cuando les da la gana y no les enciende cuando no quiere. Uh, Emory, can you help me please with uh, this part, please? Ayúdame, Emory, a leer la parte B. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. So, Anthony and Emory, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I'd like to make a complaint. <clears throat> What's the problem? This phone doesn't work, it's completed. I'm terribly sorry. I asked someone to look at that for you right away. Okay, good. So um, don't forget, completely, no? Completely sorry, or it's completely dead, good. Let's see the next conversation, it's shorter. Es más pequeñita todavía. This time it's going to help me, please. Um, 
It's going to help me, Leandro. Leandro, it's going to be letter A. And letter B, it's going to be Pame Utreras. Okay, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, guys. I'd like to exchange the, these jeans, please. They don't fit, they, they wear too small. Okay, do you have a receipt? Yes, here you are. Perfect, perfect, guys. Let's see the last conversation, which is a little bit longer, but it's not so difficult. So this short conversation, it's going to help me. Letter A, it's going to be, um, let me see. Adrian, are you there? Adrian, it's going to be uh, letter A and letter B, it's going to be Carolina. Are you there, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Uh, we, we've been here for a uh, for an hour but we haven't ordered yet i am terribly sorry sir but we're extremely busy we'll be with you as soon as we can right uh, could you speak to the manager please good thank you so much guys so as you can see here you have some examples of conversations when you have to return something to a shop or you want a refund or you want to make a complaint with the manager. So um, keep in mind these phrases, write them down, make a screenshot because you're going to use them uh, with the conversation. See, ¿sí? pongan atención en estas frases porque les van a utilizar al momento de hacer su conversación. <laughs> Pay attention and let me move to the next page. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver qué viene en la siguiente parte. We have the second part of the video, guys. Vamos a la segunda parte del video. Think about this, guys. Leo is going to speak to the manager about talk. Do you think he will get a refund? ¿Creen que le den un reembolso por ese reloj? Yes or no? What do you think? Será la que le ayudan en la tienda? What do you think, Elvis? Is Leo going to get a refund or not? Mm. Maybe yes. Okay, maybe yes. Let's see, we're going to see what happened with the video. So um, we're going to see if he can get or he cannot get the refund. And you're going to help me answering these questions as well. So pay attention. Here we have some of the questions. What three questions does the manager ask? To Leo. Sí, mucha atención a las tres preguntas que le va a hacer la manager a Leo. What is there anything and why do you? Sí, esos son los inicios de las tres preguntas. Pongan mucha atención y escríbanlas en un papelito que tengan cerca, ¿ok? So, uh, try to find the three questions the, the manager is going to ask to Leo. And then you're going to help me answering these four questions as well. What reasons does Leo have or give for returning the clock? ¿Cuáles son las razones que da Leo no para devolver el reloj? Why does the manager agree to let Leo return the clock? ¿Sí? ¿Por qué eh, está de acuerdo la manager en dejarle a Leo devolver? El reloj. And what does Leo decide to do in the end? ¿Qué decides, 
que decide hacer Leo al final. And what reason does he give for this decision? Es decir, ¿por qué decidió hacer eso al final? ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es la razón? Pay attention, guys, to the video again. So let me share the, the book again with you. And this way you can help me with the corresponding answers. Okay, everybody. So pay attention and let me share the book. By now you should be seeing the video. Can you see the screen with the video? Yes, teacher. Okay, pay attention to the last part so you can help me with the answers. Yes, teacher. Okay. Hello, what seems to be the problem? Yes, I'd like to make a complaint. I have this clock. It was bought in this shop. Your sales assistant hasn't been very helpful. She won't give me a refund. He doesn't have a receipt. No, I don't have a receipt. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't do refunds without a receipt. Yes, that's what she said. Okay, then. Can I exchange it for something else? Is there anything wrong with it? No, there's nothing wrong with it. Can I just ask, why do you want a refund if it works okay? Well, I just... It was a present, and I'm not a big football fan, and it's a bit ugly. Well, not ugly, but it's not very... adult. You know, it's more for children. I have one. I love it. Look, as it was a present, I'll let you exchange it for something else in the shop, but normally we wouldn't do this. That's very kind. So, what would you like to exchange it for? Actually, I've decided that I'll keep it. It might be useful. Well, OK, then, if that's what you prefer. Yes, yes, it's fine. Thanks very much for your help. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. OK, guys, so I know that this part has been a little bit longer. So pay attention once again. I'm going to repeat the video so you can get the three questions that the manager got. Sí, vamos a ver nuevamente el video y ustedes me van a ayudar sí, con las tres preguntas que le hace la manager a Leo, ¿ok? Pay attention. Is with the answers. What were the three questions the manager did to Leo? What is the problem? What seems to be the problem? Okay. What's the problem? Let me write it down. Give me a second. So I'm going to write the answers. Everybody can have them and also you can use them when you are um, making your conversation. You told me what's the problem, right? Seems to be the problem. Si utilizando este eh, verbo sim, estaríamos diciendo cuál uh, parece ser el problema, ¿no? Es, we're being kind of uh, a little bit more polite. Estamos siendo mucho más amables, más formales, ¿no? What seems to be the problem? Is there anything? ¿Qué nos preguntaba? Is there anything wrong with it? Exactly. Is there anything wrong with it? ¿Hay algo mal con el reloj? Is there anything wrong with it? Good. What about the last one? Why do you want a reform is it? Exactly. Why do you want a refund? 
¿Por qué quiere un reembolso? If it works okay, right? Le decía, ¿por qué quiere usted un reembolso si está funcionando perfectamente, no? El reloj. What reasons does Leo want, uh, give for the return? ¿Qué razones o por qué dice él que quiere devolver el reloj? Why does he want to return the clock? Because it's ugly. Okay, good. Because it's ugly. Um, we're going to see the exact phrase he used, right? But it's ugly. He also said something else. Algo más también dice. It's for kids. Exactly. It's for kids, right? This is ugly. It's not so adult, he said. So, it's not so adult, it's ugly, good. So why does the manager agree to let him uh, return the clock? She said something. Algo dijo la gerente, ¿no? Eh, estuvo de acuerdo en dejarle devolver o cambiar el producto, ¿por qué? Why did the manager agree to, to make the return of the clock? It was a gift. Exactly, it was a gift. Un regalo. Era un regalo. O era, we can use also the word present. Sí, podríamos ocupar cualquiera de las dos palabras. Gift or present. It was a gift or it was a present. No, era un regalo. Let's move to number four. What does Leo decide to do in the end? ¿Qué decidió al final? Did he decide to exchange this clock for something else? Decidió cambiar el reloj por algo más? The change for some time else? Did he change it for something else? Yes or no? No, teacher. No, right? He didn't change it. So he keep, kept, let's do us. He, he kept the clock, right? Decidió quedarse con el reloj. He decided to keep the clock. Why he, or which reason does he give? Why he decide to keep the clock? ¿Por qué decide quedarse con el reloj? Because he doesn't like the other watches. Exactly. He didn't like the, the, the other watches. No le gustó ninguna de las otras opciones. And he lies, right? He say it might be, Para no decirles que todo lo demás está feo, ¿no es cierto? Decide decirles, it might be useful, right? Puede ser que me sirva. It might be useful. So he decided to keep the clock. Decide al final quedarse con el reloj y decirle pues a las vendedoras que... Se queda con el reloj y que tal vez le puede ser útil. It might be useful. Good. So as you can see here, we have some other um, phrases we can use. Especially here, we have three questions. The manager can make if you make a complaint. 
¿Sí? Tenemos tres posibles preguntas adicionales que podríamos ocupar cuando el manager está ya hablando con el cliente, ¿verdad? What seems to be the problem? Is there anything wrong with it? Or why do you want a refund? So um, let's continue with the last topic we have today. Here we have some phrases we can use when we don't want uh, to hurt anybody's feelings and you want to sound a little bit more polite. Sí, hay algunas frases que podemos ocupar para sonar un poco más amables cuando decimos algo. Okay, so uh, look at this. Here you have two set of phrases. Tenemos uh, dos, um, dos opciones, ¿no? Con, con un set de frases. The first one says, it's a bit ugly. And the next one says, it's ugly. ¿Cuál de las dos oraciones es más educada? No es tan grosera. ¿Cuál de las dos sería la opción más educada? It's a bit ugly or it's ugly. It's a bit ugly. It's a bit ugly, right? No es lo mismo decir, ese reloj está feo, que cuando ustedes dicen, es que ese reloj está un poquito feo, ¿no? Es como que amortiguamos el golpe. It's a bit ugly. So it helps us to sound a little bit more polite. What about this one? It's not very adult or it's childish. Which one seems to be more um, polite? ¿Cuál de las dos sería más educada? It's not very adult. It's not very, right? It's not very adult. Good. Esa sería la respuesta correcta en este caso. Igual, la primera. Mm, suena un poco menos grosero si decimos no es muy de adulto, ¿sí? ¿A qué si decimos es de niños, no? O es infantil. So it's not very adult. Here we have uh, the rules, right? Aquí tenemos un par de reglas sobre lo que acabamos de ver. To describe a problem more politely, we use ¿Cuál utilizaría, eh, utilizaremos con un negative adjective? Not very or a bit. Fíjense en los ejemplos que tenemos. Not, not ¿Cuál va con un adjetivo negativo? Which one goes with the not very? Adjective? Not very. Are you sure? A bit. Aquí tenemos a bit. very y tenemos la palabra adult. A bit. Here you have a negative adjective. Un adjetivo negativo o que tenga una connotación negativa, en este caso feo, ¿no es cierto? Se utilizaría con el a bit, a bit ugly, ¿no? Un poquito uh, feo. Cuando ustedes quieren decir, por ejemplo, um, a bit expensive, ¿no? Es un adjetivo que tiene una connotación un poco negativa, ¿no? Algo muy caro. Está un poquito caro, ¿no? En lugar de decir, ay, eso qué caro, ¿no es cierto? It's a bit expensive. Okay, so what happens when you use an opposite positive adjective? ¿Qué pasa cuando ustedes ocupan un adjetivo, esta vez ya con una connotación positiva, 
pero que tiene un opuesto. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, we're talking about, here we have child, childish and adult. ¿Sí? Both are positive. ¿Sí? Los dos son um, adjetivos positivos. Ya sea adult or childish. Pero lo que les diferencia en este caso es que son opuestos, ¿no? El opuesto de algo infantil sería algo, algo más maduro, algo más adulto, ¿no? So, when you use these opposite positive adjectives, what do we use? Do we use a bit or not very? ¿Qué ocupamos en el caso de opposite positive adjectives? Not very. Not very, exactly. Not very adult, we have the example. Here we have, guys, write two ways to say each adjective more politely. Sí, ¿Cómo dirían ustedes o cómo utilizaríamos entonces el a bit y el not very con estos cuatro adjetivos. Help me with the first one. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera? It's a bit. A bit dirty. Good. It's a bit dirty. Y ahora con el not very. ¿Sí? Una forma de decir lo mismo, pero con el opuesto de dirty. Clean. Exactly, clean. So, it's a bit dirty or it's not very clean, right? Está un poquito sucio. O también podrían decir ustedes, no está muy limpio, ¿no? De ambas maneras estamos diciendo que está sucio. Sí, pero estamos sonando mucho más educados que si decimos directamente eso está sucio, ¿no? Podríamos decir a bit dirty or not very clean. What about the slow? How would you use it? Is not very... Not very fast. Good. It's not very fast. And it's a bit... Slow. Slow, exactly. Adjetivo negativo. It's a bit slow. Good. What about rude? It's not very... ¿Cuál sería el opuesto de grosero? Quiet. Ah, mm, uh, no. Amable. Sí. Right. Okay. Kind. Light or kind could be, both are good. It's not very polite, could be. Or it's not very kind. It's a bit, ¿cuál sería el, el negativo? Es un poquito grosero, ¿cómo diría? It's a bit rude. rude. It's a bit rude, exactly. Ahora, vamos con el último adjetivo. Cold. It's a bit... Cold. Good. It's a bit cold. Cuando vamos a visitarle a Emory a Tulcán, podemos decir, it's a bit cold. Está un poquito frío, ¿no? It's not very... It's not very hot. O hay otra palabra también que nos puede servir para referirnos a caliente. Warm. Warm, exactly. It's not very hot or it's not very warm. Good. So here we have, guys, 
How can we use these words a bit and not very when we want to sound a little bit more polite? Sí, cuando queremos ser mucho más amables, ya saben cómo pueden ocupar estas dos frasecitas. A bit y not very. A bit con adjetivos negativos y not very con los opuestos, ¿no? Con los adjetivos opuestos, pero que tengan una connotación positiva. Okay, guys, uh, write this down or keep it uh, in your notes because you're going to use it with or for the speaking practice. Noten estas frasecitas porque la van, les van a ocupar para la parte de speaking. Here we go with the speaking part. What are you going to do, guys, in pairs? You're going to choose something to complain about. So one is going to be the customer and the other one is going to be the shop assistant or maybe the manager, okay? So choose the ideas, choose anything you want to complain about and use all the phrases that we saw on this lesson and think about where you are, what the problem is and what you want. What do I mean? Where you are, for example, en qué tienda están? No, where you are, maybe you are in a shop, you are in a restaurant, maybe you are in a, in a supermarket, where you are, okay? Think about where is going to be, develop your situation. What's the problem? What do you want? Si, sí, ¿cuál sería el problema? Maybe uh, the thing you bought doesn't fit, maybe it doesn't work, maybe it's out of the date, uh, or what's the problem, okay, with the object? And what do you want? Si, sí, vamos a pensar en, do, en qué lugar estamos, cuál es el problema con el objeto que, 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 que tenemos, ¿Y qué queremos hacer? ¿Queremos cambiar el objeto? ¿Queremos un reembolso? ¿Queremos... Um, uh, what do we want? ¿Sí? ¿Do we want to exchange? ¿Do we want a refund? What do we want to do? And you're going to form or develop the um, conversation. So Don't forget, guys, you have to make the conversation. You have to write down the conversation. And you will have to upload the conversation as the evidence. And I'm going to listen to your conversation once you finish. To make the conversation, guys, you're going to have 20 minutes. Van a tener, chicos, 20 minutos para la conversación. 20 minutes to make the conversation. And then you are going to, um, to do the conversation alive, okay? Es decir, vamos a tener tiempo para hacer la conversación y luego tiempo para que ustedes presenten la conversación. It's going to be obviously in groups and you have 20 minutes to make the conversation. Do you have any question, guys? ¿Tienen alguna duda o alguna pregunta sobre lo que vamos a hacer ahora? Excuse me. Uh, do you have a receipt? Mm -hmm. Ya, y entonces que me responda que sí, ¿verdad? Eh, claro, sí traigo el recibo. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh -huh. This is in I. Uh, so. En la segunda ahí, línea. Sí, sí, ahí, ahí, yo ahí. también creo que hay que ponerle, le aumentamos para que tenga sentido. Yo quería ponerle eso del recibo. Sí, por eso ¿Por te digo. Porque para mí hasta ahí está bien. Solo tenemos que poner un recibito y happy, happy. 
Sí, pero eh, ahí, justo ahí en el Gould, antes de eso, ponle, do you have a receipt? En el que dice, would you like to exchange and get Simón. around? Sí. We are ready. <laughs> ok, I can listen to you then. Eh, ok. Excuse me, could I speak to the manager, please? Yes, of course. I am a manager. Uh, what can I do for you? I bought this sweet shirt for me this afternoon, but I doesn't fit him. Uh, it's too large. So I like return this sweet shirt and check for another. And do you have a receipt? Uh, no, I forget my receipt. Uh, don't worry. And uh, would you like to exchange it or get a refund? I like. I would like to. Uh, I would like to exchange it for a bit short size. Uh, do you have this in a bit more size? Uh, I'll check. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have short or extra short. Uh, which would you prefer? Uh, I think short will be okay. Okay. If the, if it doesn't fit, just write it back again. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, guys. So let me see if I understand understood it well. Daniel, you bought a shirt for someone else, or you bought the shirt for you? Perdón, excuse me. Compraste la camiseta para ti o para alguien más? For me. Because you used at the beginning, it doesn't fit him well. Sí, te escuché que dijiste, it doesn't fit him. No le cabe bien a él. Sí, en ese caso, si es que la, la t-shirt lo compraste para ti, sería no me quedó bien a mí. It doesn't fit me. Ok. Si ocupamos el him es porque estás hablando de alguien más. En ese caso, por eso tenía la duda. No sabía si la camiseta era para ti o para alguien más. And when we use a bit, si sí, acuérdense que cuando ocupamos el a bit para sonar un poco más um, amables, en el caso de short, a bit short, utilizaría mejor en la palabra small. ¿sí? A bit small. Do you have a sweatshirt or a shirt that it's a bit smaller? Y que sea un poco más pequeña. Y al final, uh, Alexander me dijo algo de... Eh, creo que era como la última frase. Espero que no le quede mal. Sí. sí. ¿Verdad? It was like... Um, something that with bad, you said something with bad. So uh, the right phrase to use um, cuando quieran decir espero que le quede bien o que, que no le quede mal. I hope that this fits well. Sí, espero que esta le quede bien, ¿no? que sea su talla. I hope this fits you well. Thank you so much, guys. No se olviden de subir la evidencia. Ok, if you're ready, you can start, guys. Yes. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, I'd like to make a complaint. What is the problem? Uh, yes, I bought a shirt in this shop, but it doesn't fit. It is a bit small. Mm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I'd like to exchange this shirt, please. Of course. Excuse me. Do you have a receipt? Uh, yes, here you have. Okay, then I will ask someone to bring a t-shirt with the right size. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. You did a good job and a good use of the phrases. 
I don't have anything to say. You did an excellent job. So you got the receipt and you uh, use all the phrases in the correct way. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to upload the evidence. No. Yeah. Hello, I'd like to make a complaint. Hello, what's the problem? Mm, I'd like to exchange these jeans, please. They don't fit, they are too small. Okay, do you have a receipt? Mm, sorry, I lost my receipt. I am very sorry. Without the receipt, there are no chains. Mm, excuse me, I am a frequent customer. Can you help you? Can you help me, please? I will speak with the manager to see what to do. Okay, thank you. We can help you with a size change. Okay, uh, thanks for helping. Bye. We are here to serve you. Bye. Thank you. Yes, we are glad or we are happy to serve you. Very good. So you use the phrases in the correct way. Thank you so much, guys. You did a good job. The conversation was understandable. I could understand everything you said. So I don't have nothing to say, but that you need to upload the evidence to the platform. See, ready? One moment, please. Give okay, me. sure. Draw up the presentation, please. Thank you, Miel. Apaga la presentación, digo, ya hice. Claro, pues. Sí, que voy a leer la lista. No, pues ya es una lata. Ahora sí. Ready? Yes, teacher. Get ready. Go, please okay. continue. We go. Good morning. Uh, excuse me. Can you help me? Good morning. Yes, of course. What can I do for you? Uh, they sent me this t-shirt uh, in this afternoon, but it's a bit ugly. Do you have a receipt? Receipt? Receipt. Yes. Here you are. Uh, would you like to exchange it or get a refund? It's like to exchange uh, uh, for a uh, other t-shirt. Mm, do you in a, do you have in a black color? Uh, I check. Let's see. We have a layer, extra layer. Uh, which would you prefer? Mm, I think large will be fine. Uh, here is the shirt. Thank you. Um, I don't like because it's childish. No problem. Do you want to change it? Mm, I prefer not to change it. Don't worry. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later. No me compraste la... Okay, guys. So at the end, what happened? You didn't buy or you didn't exchange and you didn't return. No devolvió ni cambió Elvis. Nada. Nada. Nothing. Ni sacar la, la camisa y nada. <laughs> okay. So just a few things, guys. Um, in the phrase that Elvis used when he wanted to change it, you can say, I'd like or I would like to change it or I would like to exchange it for some other shirt. And don't forget the pronunciation of the words large, extra large. Dark, dark, extra yeah, Anthony. Y uh, childish, ¿no? Cuando nos referíamos a algo que se ve muy infantil, en ese caso la camiseta, ¿no? Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. Very good job. You used the phrases in the correct way and I really enjoy your conversation with the dish and showing the shirt <laughs> like that. Good. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, can you help me please? Hello, yes of course. What you need? I'd like to return this dress please. Do you have a receipt? Yes, here you are. 
Why do you want to change the dress? Because it doesn't fit, it's, it's too small. I'm really sorry, but don't have more size. So I want a refund. Maybe could you like to change for another clothes? No, I've been here for a long time. I just want my money back. I'm terribly sorry. You will get your refund right away. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good, ladies. Uh, you did a good job with the conversation. Um, I like just one thing you said. Uh, we uh, don't have more size, no? Me decían no tenemos ninguna otra talla, no? No hay más tallas. Don't forget to use we. We don't have more sizes. No tenemos nosotros más tallas, no? And uh, for the rest, very good. I really enjoy the part where you use or Bane said, I have been for a long time, no? Bane nos decía, he estado por mucho tiempo aquí, ya solo quiero mi plata. Good, very good. You use the phrases in the right way. I will, I would like to buy a green dress. Ah, oh, sorry, green dress is all of them. Maybe do you like a red dress? Um, a red okay. dress. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. In color red, I have these models. Oh, I see, but these models are a bit ugly. You're right. I have another model, but are more adult. <laughs> No, could you help me with uh, the dress with color beige? Uh, of course, but with the current weather, you will have a bit warm. Okay, I don't use other designs. Uh, for the moment, I have not. Oh, I see I will you come other day. Thanks for you. Attention, uh, uh, you are very kind. Uh, thanks. Have a nice day. Good, uh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just a few things. Um, lady, cuando vamos a hablar del color, sí, primero uh, beige color, sí, para no decir... Así es verdad, teacher. <laughs> of color beige, no, a beige color, primero va el color y después el nombre del color o la palabra color, ¿no? Beige color and Josué, cuando querías decir que no hay, no de ese tipo que ya no tiene. Remember that you can say instead of I have not, ¿sí? en lugar de I have not, I don't have any. ¿sí? I don't have any dresses in that color. Sí, I don't have. Sí, ya nos jalamos. I don't have, solo un par de cositas. Lo importante es que el sentido de la conversación está ahí. I can understand what you try to say. Very good. And that would be it, guys. Uh, don't forget everybody to... Um, Tres, dos, uno. Hey, good morning. Good morning, I am the assistant of the bookstore. Could you help me? I'd like to make a complaint. What is the problem? Uh, this book has a scratched paste. I bought it online. I am terribly sorry. I asked someone to look at that for you right away. Uh, I'd like to exchange this book, please. I bought it at a new book price. What is the name of the book? Uh, Harry Potter and the Globe of Fire. Okay, do you have a receipt? Uh, yes, here you are. Well, wait a minute, I'll be back. Uh, oh, thanks. Okay, is your new book have a nice Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much, guys. You did a good job. You used the phrases 
in the right way and I could understand everything you say. So very good, ladies. Well done. Muy bien, chat, guys. Could you help me, please? Yes, of course. What's the problem? You'd like to change this to service. Is there anything wrong with it? Yes, it is a too small. It doesn't fit me. Okay, uh, do you have a receipt? Yes, here. Yes, here you are. Uh, sure, no problem. Uh, which one do you want to change? For this one, please. Okay, uh, here's your, your t shirt. Thanks, very kind. Welcome, goodbye. Okay, guys, so you didn't have any problem by changing the, the, the sweater, was it? And on sweater? The t shirt. T shirt, no, okay. Yes. Um, so um, there's one thing we can use cuando queremos nosotros preguntar por cuál quiere cambiar. Sí, en inglés generalmente ese por va a ir al final. So what do you want to change it for? El for iría al final, ¿no? Mm. Uh, just that, but it's not so, so complicated. Um, you use the phrases. I understand what you say. So you did a good job, guys. Buen trabajo, buen uso de las frases. Start if you're ready. Because I was always teacher. Yeah. Yes, you can. Hello. Good day, sir, and welcome. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a complaint. Sure. What seems to be the problem? I about this tow for me from yesterday. But it doesn't work, even still in the box. Okay, I'm going to check. Also, it's a bit dirty in the sun. Are you sure that the product was in that condition when you bought it? Yes, you can ask the assist assistant shop she sell me that. Okay, let me see what can I do. Can I have an exchange of some, something? Do you have the receipt? Yes. Okay, definitely it's broken inside. I'm so sorry. I'm going to replace it for a new one. Maybe you can replace it for another color? Of course. Um, what color do you prefer? Red is okay. Okay, once again, so sorry for the problem and I'm going to speak with her. I hope so. Here you go. Thanks. So, uh, to you have and have a nice day. Well done, guys. Very good, the use of the phrases. You use all the phrases I asked for and just uh, something to say, uh, Sebas, when you were talking about the lady that sold you the, the cell phone, you said she sell me the, the object, right? Try to use the past. She sold me. Si ella me vendió. Si, porque le estás avisando a Jody quién fue la que te, te dio el objeto dañado, no roto. She sold me that. Um, very good. By the way, you use uh, in a good way, el it's a bit. Utilizaron muy bien el it's a bit. It's a bit dirty in this zone. Very good. I could understand everything you said in the conversation. And don't forget, guys, to upload the evidence on the plat ready. You can start. Welcome to Chicas. How can I help you? Good morning. I have a problem with these shoes. Okay, what's the problem? I like to 
exchange vicious please they don't fit they're too small okay do you have a receipt no i don't have i lost the receipt i'm terrible sorry but if you don't have the receipt i can help you with that Rosa, are you speaking to the manager please of course, I call her right away. Good morning. What seems to be the problem? I'd like to exchange this pair of shoes, but a loss to the receipt. <coughs> As you don't have the receipt, we cannot make a refund, but we can exchange for a larger size. We change my shoes for a larger size. I replace it immediately. Okay, then. It's a pleasure to be able to solve your problem. We are waiting for you very soon. There you are. You can start anytime. Okay. Uh, hello, good day. Good morning. How can I help you? I'd like to exchange these jeans, please. Uh, they don't fit. They're too big. Okay. Uh, do you have a recite? Yes, here you are. <laughs> okay. Would you like to exchange the pants for a smaller size? Uh, no. Can I change it for something else? Uh, you can't. Uh, it has to, to be the same pants, but it's the size you want. Uh, why can I change it? Uh, because it has to be the same price as the recipe. Okay, no problem. I want the same model of jeans uh, in a size less, please. Uh, yes. I'll replace it immediately. Uh, thank you very much. You are so kind. You're welcome. We are at your service. Thank you. Okay, ladies. Just uh, you use the you use the phrases very good. Uh, las frases estuvieron muy bien utilizadas. I could understand everything. Just we need to be careful with the pronunciation of some words. Hay que pulir un poquito más la pronunciación de ciertas palabras. Nikki, the words receipt, immediately, is service. Receipt, immediately, and service. And pame, kind. Sí, suena mm -hmm. como una A. No kind, sino kind. Uh, that would be ready, guys. You can start. Or whatever. A ver. Ya. A ver. Eh, I like to make a complaint. Eh, call and speak to manager, please. I'm sorry, but it is not fun. What's the problem? Eh, this TV doesn't go. It's complete did. Do you have that TV reset? Yes, I do. Do you have that TV reset? Do you have that TV reset? Yes, I do. I'm terribly sorry. I will ask someone to look at that for you right away. Uh, thank you. But call you delivery the TV today. Well, that depends on the technical. Thanks, Ogmay. You're welcome. 
to sit down and wait, please. Thank you. Um, okay, guys. There are a bunch of things, especially in pronunciation, in your case. Um, you use the phrases, utilizaron las frases, sí, pero hay que tener cuidado con la pronunciación. Al inicio, uh, no se le entiende muy bien a Araceli cuando dice, it is not possible. No sé si quería decir, it's not possible. Uh, cuando quería hablar uh, Alexis con el manager, ¿no? Uh, don't forget the pronunciation of a receipt right away, the pens and technician. Que sería, dependería del técnico que decían si es que pueden o no les pueden entregar pronto. Y la pronunciación de la palabra dead, Alexis. It's completely dead, ¿no? Está completamente dead. No funciona. Dead. Uh -huh. It's completely dead. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? I'd like to make a complaint. What seems to be the problem? I bought this computer last week. It doesn't work and it seems a bit cold. It's completely dead. I am terribly sorry. Do you have a receipt? Yes, I do. Here you go. If you have the warranty, I'll ask someone to look at that for you right away. Thank you. I appreciate that. If we can find the problem, we'll exchange it for a new one. I have changed my mind. I'd like a refund. Okay, then I give your money. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Come back soon. Bye. Good ladies, uh, just one thing from for both of you. For Marjorie, don't forget that the pronunciation would be dead. It's completely dead. Si sí, está completamente muerta, no sirve. And for Pame, when you say uh, we will give your money, si sí, le vamos a dar su dinero. Um, en este caso, como hablamos de un reembolso, sí, le vamos a devolver su dinero. We are going to give your money back. Sí, en este caso, devolver, sería devolver su dinero. Thank you so much, ladies. You did a good job. Well, use of the phrases.